Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you a very old model that I made way back in 2018. It's this transforming paper fidget toy, and this is how it works. So if you hold it like this and press the corners together, the whole model turns into a cube. And it doesn't matter what corner you press, it will always turn into a cube. And stick around to the end where I can show you some more cool stuff that I can do. Alright, let's get folding. Alright, so for this model, we have to take a square and cut it in half, and then just use one of the two pieces. This model is very easy and very beginner friendly. Okay, so let's start um, white side up, and let's valley fold in half. Alright, now let's unfold. And let's take this edge and fold it to the center crease. Alright, now rotate and repeat. Alright, now let's unfold everything. And now what we want to do is we want to divide this area into eighths this way. So first up, let's turn it this way and valley fold in half. And then let's unfold. And let's take this edge and fold it to this crease. And unfold. And let's do the same over here. Take this edge and fold it up to that crease. All right, and unfold and turn over. And now let's take this edge and fold it up to this edge. And then let's take this edge and fold it up to this edge. And now rotate and repeat. Okay, now let's unfold everything, and here we should have our 4 by 8 grid. Alright, and now let's turn over, and let's refold this up, and refold this down. And then now we're going to do kind of a tricky step. So first you want to fold this point down to that point, like this. The fold should start up there and end down there. And let's repeat over here. And then, yeah, make sure you have two units here. So there's one and two, like that. All right, now here's where it gets kind of tricky. So let's take this edge and let's, let's put it in a way so that the top edge aligns with that edge back there. So let's put it in and then pull it up so that it kind of forms like a ring a little bit. All right, now this is tricky, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can. We want to take this flap and then push it inward. So just fold it in like that, and then this excess paper, I'm going to tuck in as well, so it looks like that. And this crease and this edge, try to line it up as best you can, and then same on this side. So take this big flap and push downwards, and let's clean up this area over here. And once again, this crease should line up with this edge right here. So now we have like a little ring. And what you want to do is mount and fold this and then just flatten it um, to the right. Why not? So when you open it up, it should look like a triangle. 
and then close it up so that it looks like this. Alright, so now we're going on to an easier step. Um, but I'm sorry about these extra creases, I kind of messed up a little bit, uh, but I promise you it's easy. So what we want to do is make a blend space, so folding all of the corners to the center, except the back ones, you can just leave those. Now let's unfold, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and let's reverse fold them all inside. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Okay, just making sure I didn't mess this up and I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so it looked like this. Now let's turn over, let's flip the flap, and let's take this point and fold it to the center crease. Unfold, and then do the same down here. Fold up this way, and unfold. And now you want to reverse the point in, and do the same down here. Okay, now all the folds are done, and we just have to open it up now, so... Wait, sorry, we just gotta fix this little bit, that was... It doesn't look very good. Alright, I don't know how much that fixed it, but whatever. So, as I said, all the folds are done, so let's open it up so that it kind of looks like this. And let's open the points on the top, and let's open the points on the bottom. And it should look like this. Okay, so how to get this transforming is you have to take these two points and squeeze them together, like that. Then it makes a cube, and you can do that on any corner. You can do it on the right one, on the corner one, or you could put them all in the middle, and they all make cubes. Well, almost cubes, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Or what you can do is you can put them all together, um, put your fingers here, and then press, and then it forms a tetrahedron, I think it's called. And then another thing that you can do um, is take one flap out from here, and one flap from here, and keep this held. Um, actually, don't keep it held, and then press on here, and make sure that you're holding this down. And then now you have made kind of like a polyhedron. So that's pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed this model, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.